this is a video about the big business of healthcare in the United States and how it enslaves and harms people through the alternative medical system. I'm going to be using sequences of words that are under copyright and trademark restrictions to keep me from doing a review by acknowledging that they're under trademark and copyright so that they can't be used to shut me up. A specific person whose name will not be used in the video runs an alternative and holistic health service and is a founder and self-claimed inspiring force behind the creation of and this is under copyright trademark or service mark beyond thyroid cancer to restore your vitality after thyroid cancer through and we have to put it under quotes under registered trademark service mark and copyright infringement rules functional diagnostic nutrition which is a registered trademark term and or invented term created by someone named Reed Davis for his organization to sell health coaching courses so you can make big money being a health coach health coach legally speaking doesn't mean you have to have any medical knowledge of any kind anybody can do this and that doesn't mean it's a good thing that it's open it means that anybody can show up and be a quack but maybe they're not quacks but this is not a sign that someone has gone through any training to prevent them from being able to hurt you, do no harm. This is also then validated as one of many websites through a very large pyramid scheme base and through a seal of approval on websites, which means totally everything, through an organization called Health and Wellness Business Association. Business associations are not a way to prove that you're a good medical source. To confer an air of respectability, an illusion that they have been validated by an independent agency. No, you just pay to join. You can be any member. And it is not. These are quackery websites and rings. By having that seal of approval show up, you could do an image search for that seal of approval, just the baseline thing without the other things in the middle. And you could probably detect hundreds and hundreds of websites reproducing that seal of approval. It is under copyright restriction and patent and trademark and service mark rules as well. What is the purpose of this? Me saying this and acknowledging it means it's illegal for you to flag the video. It's not just against the rules with YouTube. It's illegal. You're not allowed to suppress someone. Anti-slap suits in California can be used. I'm not in California. I'm in Oregon. But part of Google originally and part of their legal department is in California. California has an anti-slap law that is incredibly bitchy. If you're hit with it, on a national level, you may be forbidden from ever bringing a slap suit. Don't do it. A specific address that was given out that is publicly visible on the person's website that's being talked about, I'm not bringing up her name, but she, uh, she has an extremely specific last name, which made it easy to find out what this is actually going through, so I could find out what is really going on. Her name is Janet, and she runs a website called Beyond Thyroid Cancer, and it's essentially a blog where she encourages people to do these courses. It's not exactly a pyramid scheme, but the idea that some random person with no training of any kind in medicine at all is going to tell you how to treat thyroid cancer comes with the simple idea. I'm a survivor of thyroid cancer. That's what she says. And then she brings up fluoride. Now, if you're a rationalist, you already know that that's a gigantic red flag. I recommend you look at the Rational Wiki page, Health and Wellness Business Association, which is trademark and re registered and blah, blah, blah and read up on the list of sites to add to your block list and don't use them anymore because I'm going to use her web page as an example. Bringing up something that has been demonstrably disproven as a medical fact, you're off the list of sources for information. I don't care if you did it by accident, take it down. Take down any claim that has been proven wrong. And it's not about fluoride. I mean, there's a bunch of them. The address she gave, I'm just going to bring it up. A um, living in a luxury retirement condo somewhere in New Jersey and running a website that has uh, basically a bunch of legal beagle BS and copyrights and patents and, and trademarks and service marks all over the place to make sure you can't be critiqued, big giant red flag. Next, being part of an organization that's literally based on this, big red flag, and claiming to be a functional diagnostic nutritionist trademark, registered, blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure it's registered, but I'm going to add the registered and trademark symbols into the video, just in case. Screams that you're making a proprietary version of 
guessing what someone's problem is and trying to help them with nutrition. Do you have a degree in, uh, are, you, are you a nutritionist? Did you take a nutritionist course, a real one, a real accreditation, not something that you pay 50 bucks to get? Anybody can join the group, no training required, not a person to go to for medical advice. Uh, next, uh, my own knowledge of this, thyroid cancer is one of those cancers that people survive on a really, really large basis. They get it from various causes, and then later on, but you have thyroid problems because you have thyroid damage. But that's not caused by chemtrails, if anybody's curious. Uh, as for the reason this was brought up, someone brought this up, and I'm not going after the person who posted this. I'm not even going after the lady who runs this website. I'm not going to. I'm leaving a bunch of links to show the pathway. Um, people who survive thyroid cancer generally have medical problems because it's a form of cancer and they have thyroid damage, usually, not always. Next, if you're always having chronic medical problems, you're going to want to make them go away. Next, if they are intermittent on a regular basis, intermittent doesn't mean that they're not regular. If you get medical problems on a regular basis, it's really difficult to diagnose them unless you go to a doctor and do a continual, slow diagnostic. Uh, I have a relative who's been diagno diagnosed, misdiagnosed four or five times in a row, back and forth between three, excuse me, three options. The thing is, she may have all three of them. And that's with the medical system that's in place. Or you can get a dowsing rod and just say, uh, demons. Now, why am I critiquing this? Um, if you use a placebo and it makes you better off, that's fine. But it's still a placebo. It isn't a cure. It didn't treat anything. It's you doing it. You have the power to make yourself feel better. Literally pick yourself up by your bootstraps, effectively. People don't like hearing that. They want to have a poultice or a charm or a blessing or, hell, a damnation maybe would fix it. Or out them or, or removal and casting out of demons. But the fact is, is that 90% of medical problems the person goes through, th oh, more than that, throughout their lifespan, go away. And even if they recur, there are periods of time when they don't hurt them. Uh, I probably, but maybe not, have the same medical conditions my relative has that's been misdiagnosed back and forth three times. I hope by the time it becomes a real problem for me, they don't have the misdiagnosis problem. Or you can find someone who claims, I have 100% success with everything, which is literally impossible. I mean, that's, that's bullshit. Oh, this cures everything. Again, literally impossible. It's bullshit. You can go into that knowingly, but you're not allowed to go into that ignorantly, at least if you view the channel. Anybody who provides a source of information from this that does not provide citations for why they came to the conclusions they give, I don't trust. Now, <clears throat> my problem here is I don't want to harm this person. This is just some lady in a retirement village at 60-something trying to make a living or have fun or just be okay. And she's basically just doing, you know, supplement marketing and maybe giving advice on coaching and life coaching. And uh, health coaching businesses are not a bad idea. The general criteria is always the same thing. Eat a balanced diet, get some exercise, take care of yourself, and go to the doctor whenever there's anything really dangerous. And the last part of it no one wants to hear about is make sure you have good medical insurance because everything's really expensive. Or, pray it away. Or just survive every time something goes bad and know that it'll get better eventually. I've had medical problems that have almost taken my legs. I've literally laid on the ground and watched part of my anatomy literally explode from pressure. I'm alive now and I can run and walk and I'm fine. But a, uh, a specific type of, of uh, scanner, uh, MRI, or an x-ray would show you what looks like a horror show that happened. So, you know, I've lived a long life and it wasn't that much fun at 50. So, if anybody's curious, my opinion to this is, if it works for you, that's great. But it's not medicine. It's not science. And it's not valid. Because it's outside of the range of things that can actually give a consistent result. And unfortunately, I have to say, a lot of normal medicine is like that, too. The other red flag is the site shouldn't tell you that they're not just an alternative to science-based medicine. They're better because, and then they invoke some woo. I'm not accusing this person of doing that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And again, avoid anything with a stamp that says Functional Diagnostic Nutrition, which was invented out of someone's butt. Or Health and Wellness Business Association, again, invented out of the butt. 
or anything you don't have the ability to back check completely to find a person with at least some training in this. And yeah, I would trust a, a real certified nutritionist to help you more than anything else. Um, and if they invoke anything at all, woo-based, avoid them. Unless that's what you want. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.